On the streets of Jerusalem, protesters demanding the release of hostages clashed with the police. Things got a bit too close for comfort for Israeli National Security Minister Itamar Ben Gavir, who was escorted to his car through the crowd of protesters. Uh, we came out today to uh, call for the immediate release of all hostages, even in the name of uh, not continuing this awful, horrible war that has killed the hostages up till now. We hope that our, uh, that our message will be heard by the, the people who are responsible and that they will come back now. It's been over 200 days since the attack on Israel, in which over 250 people, including children, were taken hostage by Hamas. Though approximately 100 of them were released in November last year, 133 are still in captivity and there's very little known about their well-being. This screen grab from a video that Hamas released on Wednesday is of 23-year-old Israeli-American Hirsch Goldberg Polin, who was bundled up into a pickup truck from the Nova Music Festival and forcibly taken to Gaza on October 7. And Hirsch, if you can hear this, we heard your voice today for the first time in 201 days. And if you can hear us, I am telling you, we are telling you, we love you, stay strong, survive. His mother has been one of the many who has campaigned consistently for the release of hostages. Seeing her son on video was heartbreaking and overwhelming for the family. Hirsch Goldberg Poland's parents urged world leaders to end their suffering by ensuring the release of hostages. We're relieved to see him alive, but we are also concerned about his health and well-being, as well as that of all of the other hostages and all of those suffering in this region. And we're here today with a plea to all of the leaders of the parties who have been in negotiating to date. That includes Qatar, Egypt, the United States, Hamas, and Israel. Be brave, lean in, seize this moment and get a deal done to reunite all of us with our loved ones and to end the suffering in this region. Aviva Siegel knows exactly what that suffering is. She was also among the hostages and returned after 51 days in captivity. But her husband Keith is still in Gaza. My heart is with Keith now. It's too much for me to handle. 201 days. Kids there, thrown in a corner, like a rag, because he's treated like a rag. And the leaders of the world need to wake up, because humans shouldn't go through that. He's an he's innocent, sweet, loving person that was taken out of his home with his pajamas. And now, I don't even know if Keith's alive. I don't know if he's alone. And it's very difficult for me to think about it. If they're nice to him, if they're starving him, if he's got anybody just to share his pain, his fear with. Israel Prime Minister has said he is focused on the release of hostages, but Hamas has rejected every deal that has been presented to them. Netanyahu has also said he plans to go ahead with the all-out assault on Rafah in southern Gaza to finish Hamas. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more news updates.